Hello, Gareth here. So in this video, I just want to share with you a little discovery I made by complete accident. So basically, I should tell you what it is, right? Right at the beginning. Oh, goodness me. I've got this rim lighting and if I put it on full, then my face looks ridiculous. Do you want to have a look? And uh, the problem with it is, is sometimes it can just flash on or off. I switched it off, but watch this, guys. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> it's like some scary movie, right? So let's switch that rim lighting off because it's absolutely useless. So whatever you do, don't put lots of oil on your face and then switch on the rim lighting full blast because you'll look like uh, like a scary well I look like a scary scary David Bowie in that movie uh, maybe I'm being a bit you know like thinking I look like David Bowie's and maybe a bit egotistical anyway that's not the point sorry 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 um, the point of this video is just to tell you about a discovery I made and um, yeah by complete accident so and I'm going to get to the point so the point is you know that kind of beautiful blue color you get at night time and sometimes if you've tried to do a nighttime painting like this of um, a nighttime painting yeah in watercolor then sometimes you find that you can't get that blue right you just can't get it you use your ultramarine blue or you use your phthalo blue like me but actually what you should try is green yeah maybe not just any green so I use cobalt green have I got it I might look for it in a minute but anyway I think you can work it out right yeah it's going to take me a long time to find it guys but anyway cobalt green yeah um, I'm not sure if I use cobalt green in this but basically I just wanted to paint this picture again because it was just I don't know what it was maybe it was a painting that went wrong and then I painted over the top of it but I quite like this painting so now I'm talking about details and I've told you my main point my main discovery which is try cobalt green if you want to paint a night scene in watercolor have a go and I'll show you my result in a minute this is not to keep you waiting guys it's just basically I've got a bit of a story story that I want to tell you because I think it's interesting so I began with this maybe this white bit is titanium white I'm not sure and you've got this almost yellowy green here and I like this the feeling of this a lot this is actually a place called Sasebo in Nagasaki prefecture Japan but I like the feeling of this a lot and of course I've painted over the top of it a bit I don't know why just practicing or something and so I can't really sell this can I and I would like to do another version I was thinking so I did and look at this guys I think it's pretty good so now the green isn't so obvious because whenever I try to copy a painting it never comes out exactly the same I don't know if that's good or bad um, but it doesn't but anyway I use cobalt green in this sky and at first I was thinking oh no this is going to look stupid but this year one of my big aims in my painting is to really experiment and uh, what do you call it push the e push the envelope get out my box something like that uh, get out the box whatever I think you know what I'm talking about but anyway um, I really want to push it this year and experiment with my painting and even do some crappy paintings just to 
enjoy painting. So this was one of those attempts, yeah? So I used cobalt green in the sky and then I used my normal colors as well, like um, phthalo blue and alizarin crimson. And what else did I use? And I told you I used titanium white maybe there. Um, so that's mostly what I used. But that that color is beautiful, isn't it? It really looks like a nighttime sky, don't you think so? And I think I'm going to have another go at this and maybe go even more extreme. Um, I'm also very happy with the rest of the painting, the islands and the rocks. I think it really, really works. But the main point was to recommend or suggest using cobalt green in your paintings. But I think in my next attempt, I might try to even do a yellowy green and see what that looks like. I think it might look a bit eerie. It might look quite eerie. I've got a funny feeling about green. I don't know why. Um, sometimes when I see the colour green, like a dark green, it always makes me think of private schools in England and private girls schools in England and, you know, like a certain class of society that I, I will never be a part of. It's interesting how colours can have these effects on you, right? But I also think of green as like alien or strange. And I also think of green as like, you know, that movie June and that planet Harkonnen, that that particular green that I think of when I think of that planet Harkonnen. Um, where was I? So green is very interesting color. And if you can look at this here, this is also green, but it's so it's so light, it almost looks like that kind of blue at night time, which is what I should have said right at the beginning, but I didn't, yeah? Um, so you see that color? And sometimes the sky really looks like that, doesn't it? So here's a pet peeve, um, something that I find annoying, which is sometimes I do something very experimental, right? Like green sky that is so abstract right or surreal and what happens it ends up looking real <laughs> for some reason i can't seem to escape making realistic looking paintings even when i'm trying to be a bit more surreal or abstract so that is also another one of my long-term aims which is to add a more surreal or abstract aspect to my paintings but I don't want this to become a ramble okay guys so anyway I'm going to do another attempt at this painting and I'm going to try and get a light green color in the sky this time not a kind of very very pale gray almost pale green sorry almost bluish or gray looking color but I think it looks really beautiful don't you I'm really happy with that. This place, Sasebo, is a place that really, really inspire, inspires me a lot, even though I only went there one day, just one day, but it really, really inspired me.